Alright, so we're back to the only subreddit where knowing how to play Yu-Gi-Oh cards is a crucial life skill to know. It's r slash furry IRL. Send them to the Shadow Realm, damn it. As I've come to understand, or you guys may or may not know, it is now July uh, for some of you uh, and, and the rest of the world. Um, it, it hit, uh, July hit the Philippines, um, you know, relatively early, like yesterday. <laughs> but, you know, uh, with the mark of July beginning, it also marks the uh, end of Pride Month. I would like to take this moment to remind all of you that um, just because Pride Month has ended doesn't mean our pride in ourselves should end just there. I would like to remind all of you that we will continue to fight for our rights to exist, our rights to live on this planet without the pressures of society bearing down upon us. This year's Pride Month was an amazing experience for me, and I absolutely hope it was the same for you. So, to all of my gays, my gals, and my, my non-binary pals, keep on fighting. Today, we're going to be looking at r slash furry IRL to, uh, you know, balance out this very serious speech. <laughs> Would you rather have a gay son or a thug son? Alright, so I have to choose between a son who's just being themselves and a disappointment. I, I, give me the gay son. Give me the gay son. Because anyone, any child who poses like this in uh, in front of a mirror and, <laughs> and thinks this is badass is a lost cause. Alright? If, uh, if your child starts to act like this, send them to the farm or either send them to a scared straight program. No, just uh, just a little uh, tip there. Oh wow, look at that. Bloodline heroes of Lithos. Not pay to win. Not pay to win at all. And look, it even has a very cute wolf lady with the braids and the blue eyes saying download now so you can meet her. Oh my god. Oh, 4.5 stars on the Google Play App Store. Completely free. Install now. Look at that hips. Oh get the fuck out of here <laughs> every time i see ads like this like for a game or like for some app or some shit uh it's always it's always the ads that look better and the gameplay that looks like ass that advertise like this also not pay to win yeah fuck off <laughs> almost all of the goddamn games on android are pay to win get the fuck out of here did you know, sea snakes often avoid humans, but sometimes during mating season, they become very hyperactive and approach divers. In some cases, they have been bitten because those snakes mistake them for a potential mate. Scalies upon learning this, horny. Mm. Alright, see, a sea snake might bite you because they might mistake you as a potential mate. I wouldn't know how that would happen. I guess horniness does dull everyone's senses most of the time, but if uh, a sea snake bites you because it saw you as a potential mate, the casket industry might see you as a potential customer. <laughs> he doesn't know how to play. Ah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh god, that takes me back. Back to a time when all I had to do was just memorize uh, battle tactics uh, surrounding this very, very unusual card game. You know, looking back, I have never won a single match of Yu-Gi-Oh cards against anyone because I was too stupid to understand the rules. <laughs> but before we get into any more memes for today's video, let's go check out the uh, Patreon shoutouts for this month of July. I guess so, July now. <laughs> let's go. We have Otter Breath, Fox Demon, Whisper Whisper, Carapini, Keo Plays, Antithesis, Leon Pharma, Voltage, Benjamin Wilson, PNO Creations, Werewolf Detective Pa, Gurgly T Gurgly, also known as Gary T, 845, Mad Scientist, The Unknown Fluff, and Nate Pope. Thank you guys so much for sticking around um, until July, or, you know, hopefully until. <laughs> until the rest of the year. Thank you guys so much for staying. And um, if you guys want to be a uh, part of the Patreon family, you might want to go down to the description or into the link comment down below and check out the Patreon and join in because it helps me get fed. It helps me pay for the rent. And I didn't know that would rhyme, but there you go. <laughs> Back to the memes. Pet opossum. Nyeh. Pond opossum. Or in other words, animal abuse. Hey, 
Who are you and what are you doing in my house? I'm some sentient snowman. This is my house. Now, get out. Now. Are you deaf? I called this house already. How are you not melting in here? Buddy, I'm not even sure how I'm alive. See, if it's that easy to own something, what you should do is pee on the snowman in order to get like a... <laughs> To get your place back because if it's that easy to like own something pee on it okay you now have your very own uh snowman hanging around in your living room it's gonna smell like piss but you know that's uh that's a trade-off there you get a magical being to stay around in your living room but it has to smell like piss that's the caveat <laughs> anyway that's all i have to say what's up with you bliss well, I need for someone to take my goddamn virginity! Uh, alright. Take it for someone who has kept their virginity, virginity, virginity for a very long time. That losing it doesn't matter, alright? Whether or not you have had sex for the first time, or whether or not you have not sex for the first time, you know, it doesn't matter, right? It should not be the defining thing in your life to lose your virginity. Media has, like, done a bad job of demonizing people who have not yet punched their V-card, when in reality, it, you losing your V-card is, like, the lowest thing, you know, the lowest priority in your life. You know, school, uh, college, uh, getting a job, getting a degree, that should be the things that you should be focusing on. You know, yes, I know it's a rite of passage, fuck off, you know? Losing your virginity, it should not be the most important thing that you're focusing on. Focus on other things that are important. Do not be frustrated because you have not yet punched out your V-card. You know the people who obsess over being virgins? You know what, they, what we call them? We call them incels. We call them neckbeards. We call them we call them those things because they think that um, losing their virginity is like the coolest thing ever. It's not, all right? You know the first time you, had se you have sex? It's fucking awkward. Bottom line is there are a lot of other important things to worry about than just lose having to lose your virginity. You can you can quote me on that, right? Yeah, whatever. Trans rights. Just do it behind closed doors. Don't shove it down throats. Then choke. Excuse me? Choke. Choke on our existence. Choke on the fact that we exist and choke on the fact that our existence fucking offends you. See, I'm not trans by any means, but I will support any trans person. And to every transphobe out there, I would like I would just like to say that I am the kind of guy that would love to see you get hit by a train. And that brings us to the end of our slash free IRL. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Twitter, chat with me on Discord, support me on Patreon, support me on Coffee. Check out my TikTok. I have a thousand followers on there. Let's get to 1,000 by before the end of July. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This has been your fellow degenerate cook, Pause 88. And I'll be seeing you guys again in the next video. Stay foxy much love.